Welcome to Let's Talk About It, a podcast that gives a platform for real talk, real stories, real people, real topics, real conversations. Welcome to the show. Enjoy the journey. All right. Welcome, everybody, to, to Let's Talk About It, real talk, real people, real topics, real conversations. Today, my guest is he's back, my man Bobby Celliar from episode eight. He is the best of what he do. Now, right now we are at we are I'm in Aurora, Colorado, where I got I started my journey with this man right here in his gym. So my man Bobby's here again today. How you doing, my man? My oh, man, I'm doing good. You know what I'm saying? Very blessed. You know, we're here, ready to make people a little bit better, move a little bit better. So yeah. Now later on I'm going with this video, I'm going to show the whole complex and what he does. He's the best at what he does. Now, I had to bring him back on for a recap here. Now, today, I'm going to ask him a couple questions about our episode and everything going on today. Mm. All right, my man Bobby. All right. Now, when I asked you to come on the show, right, mm -hmm. when I first asked you, how did you feel about that? I mean, honestly, I was honored, but, dude, I was, I was scared, and you could definitely tell. <laughs> You can definitely tell I was scared. I was nervous. You know what I mean? Um, but, you know, throughout the video, you can tell, you know, we sink in, get a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. And then you start asking the questions and it starts flowing off the tongue. You know what I mean? But definitely, like I said, honored, but scared at the same time. Oh, come on, man. Well, Listen, no, it was my first one. It was my first one. It was my first one. Come on, man. But, but this could be this is the, the most of many, though, for you. Yeah, well, I mean, hopefully, yeah. yeah hopefully. Man, you gonna blow up and stuff like that, especially <laughs> being the best trainer all Colorado, brother. Oh, man, I I'll appreciate you, right you with the kind words, my guy. <laughs> See, now we will get into the real one. After this was recorded, right? Mm -hmm. When you sat down and we, when we hit stop, mm -hmm. how did you feel at that moment right there? When, when we got off that day? Dude, I felt good. I felt good. Yeah. Like I said, it started off a little shaky, but once we hit the pause button, once we're done, it felt... It was like if you blink like that that's how it felt me even though it felt like the whole hour like we took yeah, it was yeah. just like you blinked and it was over for me at the end of that but uh <laughs> yeah it was it was it was cool though it was cool it was a good experience i'm telling you man listen you this man's been too much he killed it go, go go back and watch episode eight and he is the best way to do now we got another question for you now when you watched it and when other people watched it like what were some responses that, that you got Mm, as far as like what do you mean like you know the people that watch you on that for your first time did they, they ask you anything they say anything you did a good job or whatever um oh people that like reached out yeah, yeah. they said uh they said i did a good job i put a lot of good information um that it's stuff that they needed to hear yeah. from a different angle so when i hear that i mean it's cool that i was like i feel like i've done my job right yeah. so yeah no i feel really good yeah because like you know a lot a lot of gym contents don't really be truthful and honest about anything. Mm -hmm. That's just my opinion. Okay. And yeah. like you will probably most, maybe one of three that I've seen in America that's oh, completely on, honest man. about what they do. There's some good ones out there, man. There's some good ones out there. No, you're yeah. the best one, brother. Especially <laughs> no Kyle Rod. Don't don't oh, let them fool on, you. Man. Don't let them fool you. All right. Now, is there anything like you wanted to, that you left out that you might want to discuss or, or give a message to people about, like, you know, especially being a gym, especially being a trainer, one of the best trainers in Colorado? Um, honestly, yeah, I kind of did leave out something that, you know, like popped up in my head. Okay. Um, a good key component that I want to push out to everybody is, um, mobility training, right? It's mobility training, whether it's like in your hips, shoulder, we want to keep, uh, one of the follower or one of the guys that I follow, he likes to say, uh, keep those joints buttery. Okay. Right. So they're not like always cracking. Right. Got it. Um, and I've learned since then a bunch of different type of modalities different pieces of equipment to use to kind of, again, loosen up the shoulder mobility, complex, hip complex, and things like that. Anywhere from like steel maces, like I said, my forte are kettlebells, things like jump ropes, slush ropes. Yeah, all these like unconventional tools that are, that people look at at like, hmm, those look interesting, but intimidating because I don't know what to do with it, right? And that's, again, when you talk to a coach, that specializes in that type of stuff and they can show you how to use it and things like that. But again, I wanted to stress that mobility thing. Well, you, you a master, to me, you're the master at the kettlebell. Well, I appreciate that, man. It's taking a while, it's, you know, it's a long road, but listen, he, he, does, that. he does all these flips and stuff like that. I can't, I can't even like imagine how he does it, but 
you did very good what you do. Man. I appreciate it. And yeah, like the kettlebell juggling, that's just, you know, that's uh it's a form of fun. Again, it's just okay. uh hand eye coordination, different type of workout. Um and again, if people are interested, I can suggest people to follow. If you're ever, you know, in the club here, we can definitely go over some stuff. But yeah. So the kettlebell was like how long did it take you to, to perfect that? Like what what made you even try that? Honestly, um, big shout out to uh, this fist fitness influencer, kettlebell juggler. His name's uh, the Crazy Trainer. Um, follow him on IG. He's honestly one of the first ones um, I seen start to kettlebell flipping. Yeah, and then I was just like, oh, that's that's a cool modality. That's a cool way to look at it. It's, it looks fun. You look cool doing it. Um, so kind of watch a couple of his videos and a couple other um, a couple others that follow him that I kind of just went around and started following and before you know it i was flipping bells and started showing people how to do it and yeah it was it's just fun man it's just another way to work out bro heart rate's going bro you oh my goodness man like i said ladies and gentlemen he is the best at what he do now i'm telling you i got some questions for this man right here like the last time right we did the uh the random pick and choose questions rapid 90, fire yeah rapid fire for 90 <laughs> seconds this one just could be three little questions right here for him my man Bobby, if you can tell your five-year-old a go self one thing, what would that one thing be? Your five-year ago mm. self, what would that one thing be? Ooh, that's tough. You got plenty of time, bro. You think about it. Five Bobby. years ago, five years ago, All Bobby. Right. Okay. All right. If I could talk to my five-year-old self, I would tell him to don't give up on the art side. Because when I was little, I, w I started discovering, you know, I was real artsy. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like drawing and stuff like that. Got it. But, um, you know, back then, you know, trying to trying to get all artsy, you know, for, for a young man wasn't the big thing. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's what I would tell him. I would say don't give up on the artsy side because – being older now, I'm starting to discover, rediscover my artistry side. You know, spray painting, drawing, writing. So yeah, that was a good question. Flipping kettlebells. Flipping, ah, there. yeah, flipping kettlebells. <laughs> yeah, RT in a different way, I guess you could say. What's that thing you're doing with the stick? What is that? Uh, you're talking about the steel mace. So yeah, hey, what is that? So that is a um, an offload tool. You know, it's um, it's front side heavy. That okay. ball part is yeah. weighted. Um, anywhere they can range from three pounds to up i've seen you know like up in the hundreds it's crazy and it's an it's a really an ancient art form if you really dive into it yeah it, it goes back centuries and really? it's, again it's a great mobility tool endurance tool strength tool i work with one that we have in here all the time yeah see best the way you do <laughs> number two what is the most favorite thing about you Oh, okay. This is, this is pretty easy. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite thing about me is I like to look at everything from a good vibe perspective, right? Okay. And I feel like when I'm in a group of people and we'll say, you know, maybe like they're feeling low, yeah. right? I feel like my high energy will carry over to them. And then, you know, they'll kind of, there's the spirits that come up a little bit. Oh, yeah. And before you know it, they're smiling. So I feel like I've always had that effect on people. Bro, you do got high energy. I'll tell you that I now. tried it, man. Listen, man, you, you'll cheer me up plenty of days. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last question. If you can go anywhere in the world for one week, where would that be and why would you go there? Ooh, it would be Australia. Okay. The Australia. Okay. I always wanted to go out that way. Because, um, you know, when I was younger, it was always... And I'm still a fan of, you know, wildlife, animals. Okay. When I was younger, I wanted to be a marine biologist, right? What? Yeah, yeah. Growing up in San Diego, always in the ocean. Yeah, I wanted to, you know, go swim with the sharks, study sharks and stuff like that. Okay. So, um, yeah, it'd be cool to shoot out to Australia, kind of kind of visit their beaches, see their, see their shark marine life. So, yeah. Bro. The Australia. The Australia. <laughs> Yeah, so it's all good, but like, mm -hmm. you know, 
And it, all right, that part. <laughs> but listen, thank you so much, man, for coming out here. I, I can't. I, I had to come all the way out here to Colorado to sit down with this man. I was really stand up and talk about this man. Again, this is the place right where I started my journey. And, and this man put me on my path right now where I'm trying to be the best I can be and actually to save my life. So I'm actually going to take some video and, um, and some pictures of this place. Especially I'm going to get a good workout in. And I mean, again, this right here is the best in Colorado. All right. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want to say before we go? Um, You know, like I said, if you're in the area, we're over, you know, southeast Aurora and here in Colorado. Come hang out with us. Come get a session in. You know, I would love to meet you. All right. Guys, I'll see you next week on Let's Talk About It. Peace. <laughs>